Old boy and island heroes. Yes, I've worked with them uh, in the past. Um, they can be quite uh, militant people in Old Boy and Island Heroes. approaching in the old military style uh, uniform uh, around about the time of the uh, anniversary of the Somme there a few years back uh, a number of bands uh, uh, took up wearing the old the fashion first world war style military uniform and very fine it looks too bit of time now for carbohydrate loading for the marchers and spectators alike as they take a, a well-deserved traditional 10 or 15 minute break and that gives us a chance to look back to the early part of the procession which was led away this morning by the Ballymacarra District Lodge number six. And it's a treble honour, really, for the uh, obvious one of leading the County Grand Lodge of Belfast on the 305th anniversary of the Battle of the Boyne. But also in a year that marks the bicentenary of the founding of the institution and with this uh, district lodge, Valley Macarrot, being formed itself in 1870, this is their 125th anniversary. The district had a nomadic existence in the early days until around the turn of the last century, Clifford. Uh, what we're listening to now is uh, the traditional music which we associate with the 12th of July. One of the interesting features of which is that, in fact, there isn't all that much orange music. There's a lot of uh, music from the shows and from uh, uh, military music, uh, but sometimes the orange music is a bit of a rarity. And there's uh, Brampton, LOL5, 31 members from Canada. Of course, uh, Canada outside the British Isles, Clifford, is a, an orange stronghold. It is indeed, and what many people don't realise is that there were more Canadian orange men died at the Battle of the Somme than orange men from Ulster. There's our first shot of Con William on, on his white horse. 
Yeah, there's some talk, Clifford, about that white horse. I mean, was he actually on that, or is that uh, mythology, orange mythology? Well, I actually have documentary evidence that it, there was a white horse. King William owned it, and undoubtedly it was at the Battle of the Boyne. an orange tune played just to uh, prove that you can't get them right all of the time <laughs> now what a beautiful uh, day it is here too Clifford uh, marvelous conditions of course in the 12th traditionally it rains doesn't it oh I wouldn't say that it traditionally rains but certainly after last night there must have been a lot of people very nervous about what they were going to have to endure today but the Sun is shining and everybody's smiling Start of Down Temperance, number 428. The first yes, record uh, of the Lodge was in 1798 in uh, Loch Gaul, but the warrant first issued in Belfast in 1875. The thing to notice is the way in which the banner poles are directed with the famous orange lily. Remarkably, in Irish history in the 19th century, you could actually be uh, uh, convicted by the police for wearing an orange lily. It was actually a prescribed uh, symbol, uh, and the government had banned it. Parkinson Accordion Band, one of the, the long-standing bands of East Belfast. They've got spanking new uniforms and they're sounding very, very good. an occasion for all the family here the uh, beginning of the traditional holiday period 12th of July fortnight Bloomfield uh, temperance there LOL 490 quite an unusual banner for uh, the orange order you'd associate this kind of uh, scriptural or biblical banner more with uh, the Royal Black Preceptories a sister organization uh, but uh, very nice all the same No Dublin interference, the uh, feelings quite clear, if slightly obscured by the wind at the moment. East Belfast, Orange Volunteers. With the Jimmy Steele Loyalist Flute Band behind them from Burnbank. Uh, one of the many Scottish bands uh, marching in the 12th demonstration in Belfast. Very, very uh, important connections between Ulster and Scotland going right back into prehistory. And these bands cement that uh, long standing relationship. It's not cheap either, is it? They cost quite a bit of money, but I think the Scottish bands are quite glad to get over here. Scottish bands are delighted to come over here and they consider it a great honour uh, to march in the 12th of July procession. But the fact is that the Belfast procession uh, needs the uh, Scottish bands. They add a tremendous amount to the, the whole uh, occasion. <laughs> 